What's going on guys? Nico back here with another Madden video and in today's video we're gonna be going over my lineup we're doing a lineup update These are gonna be the type of videos you'll see for the rest of the week since there's not really any new content Team of the week starts up next week and wildcard Wednesday and LTDs on Thursday that starts up next week. So for this week you get probably a couple Informational videos and stuff like that, but we will be going over the lineup today If you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button turn that bell on to get notified Whenever I upload a video make sure to follow me on Twitter's top link in the description I know I haven't, update, uh, I haven't uploaded that much in the last week or so. I was sick all last week. And then we had, you know, Christmas and New Year's. And then I went to the Ravens game Sunday. Um, I was feeling a little better. So that's why I wasn't uploading. Wasn't feeling too well. Didn't really know what to upload either. So that's what that was. But we are back. We're going to be uploading at least once or twice every single day going forward. And then back to three times once we get, once we get back in the groove. If you guys enjoy, like, subscribe, and let's get into the lineup. All right, guys, going over the lineup. We added a ton of new cards. We have Ravens 50 out of 50 theme team. It's 52 out of 50, actually. We have all the strategy items, everything. We have Derrick Henry, a quarterback. I know Randall Cunningham is gunslinger and he has Ravens cam, but Derrick Henry is obviously one of the best quarterbacks in the game. 97 th uh, speed, 97 throw power, 99 short, 90 medium, 87 deep, 99 throw under pressure, 99 throw on the run, 99 play action. He has trucking. He has good carrying. He has good juke and spin, obviously. Uh, Derrick Henry is really good. Now, he does miss some throws. I did realize that he misses some of the easiest throws in the game. Um, he, miss, he, he misses some deep balls sometimes. It, it really depends, but he's still really good. He still makes probably like 85% of his throws. Just that 15% can really hurt you sometimes. But Henry is right there. We have Ricky Williams at running back powered up. Now, he was really expensive to power up. I had to use my power pass right here on his team diamond because that was like 300K. I did have to buy his power for like 150 but Ricky Williams right here, 99 speed, 98 excel, 93 agility, 94 carrying, 83 catching, 94 change direction, 99 trucking, 99 break tackle. He has good spin and juke. Again, the trucking is 99. This card is really good catching. I did not expect Ricky Williams to have good catching. Like, I don't know. Maybe it'll show here. But if we come back here, his catching was a 71 at 91 overall. So um, it went up 10 with 6 overall upgrade, which is pretty good for Ricky. He has a power back, so he doesn't get like backfield mismatch or anything. We have wide receiver Dion. We had to pick him up. He's he's 99 speed receiver. He's a route runner receiver as well. Ravens receiver is actually really good now since uh, Hester Dion got upgraded. And then uh, you can fill him in with like Allworth, or you can you know use one of your open spots on receiver, which I'm doing right now. As we have uh, the level master Jerry Judy right here. This card's really good. 97 speed. He's got good route running. He's a route runner, so he gets slot apprentice for 2 AP, which is what I need. And uh, yeah, he's really good. You can get him for free from reaching, reaching level 30, I believe. And then we also have Devin Hester here. Now, I had to power him up since I don't have his team uh, team captain. Or not his team captain, his uh, series master from series one. But he's 99 speed, and he's had 95 route running across the board. Obviously, good spin and juke. And he's a route runner, so Hester is really good. Just sometimes these these two receivers, Dion and Hester, have trouble getting their feet in bounds. I've noticed that, but it's not too much, too big of a deal. We have Hughes check at fullback, powered up. Mark Andrews at tight end. Hopefully he gets an upgrade, or the Ravens get like a Todd Heap, somebody like that. 92 speed, still fine though. He got great run block. Pass, the pass block's decent. We have Lane Johnson at right tackle, Zeitler at right guard, Jensen at center, Bozeman at left guard, and then I do have Baselli here. I picked him over Maze. I think there's just enough users in the game where you don't really need Maze. And Baselli gets all team cams and he gets all line positions. I, I do I do just have him a left tackle because that's the Ravens uh, weakest tackle or um, offensive lineman position. But this card's crazy. He's got 96 pass block, 96 run block, 97 strength. He's actually pretty fast, 75 speed. He's really, really, really good. So we're going to keep him there. He's going to be the best guy on on our old line holding it down there for quite a while that's the offense they all played really well ricky williams doesn't break as many tackles as i wish he did i feel like he should break more tackles these receivers have been really good though hester judy dion i haven't really noticed but i don't really have him in a position where i throw him to throw, throw him the ball that much andrews has been good even though he's a little slower than guys like vernon davis or Taysom hill whoever you have and then that's really it we have we obviously don't have like the fully upgrade backups like McGahee would be here or uh, Cunningham would be backup quarterback. I'm just not gonna spend the coins on that. Don't really think I need it until you know they get upgraded. Defensively, this team's crazy. Marlon Humphrey was luckily one of the presents. Um, thank God he got picked. 
This is an end, um, end game card for the Ravens. 99 speed, 98 excel, 94 agility, 99 jump, 98 press, or play rec. 99 man, 99 zone, 99 press. He's actually really physical as well, which you expect from a Marlon Humphrey card. He's got 90 hit power, 82 block shed, 77 tackling. You expect that from Marlon Humphrey, one of the most physical corners in football. He's also six foot, so he's not too short. So we have Humphrey there. We have Dion over here, the Harvest Master. He's got 98 speed, 97 excel, 96 agility, 94 jumping, 96 play rec, 96 man, 97, 96 zone, and 82 press. Press is horrible. Obviously the worst corner in the game if you want someone physical. No hit power, no block shot, barely any tackling. But you have him out, I, I, I have him out there for coverage. That's really where I have him. He doesn't really need to make any too big of tackles. And then we have Marcus Peters, who I'm hoping gets an upgrade. The Ravens somehow make the playoffs. I know the Ravens are in a bad position, but they still have a spot that they can clinch. But they need a lot of help. They need Jacksonville to beat the Colts. They need, I think, the Raiders to beat the Chargers. They need the Dolphins to lose to New England. I think they play New England. Maybe not. I don't know. And they need to beat the, uh, the Steelers. So they need a lot to go their way. But if they don't make the playoffs, maybe Marcus Peters can get... I don't really know what he can get. Maybe a flashback Super Bowl card or something. I don't know. But he's got 94 speed, 94 excel. Zones are both above 90, which is fine. He he has pretty good tackling. Obviously not the most physical. I think he is like 6'1", though. No, he's, he's six foot. So all these corners are actually good height. Like they're not like 5'11 or lower. And then these linebackers have been playing really, really, really well. We have Doomerville, fully powered up. His team of the week. 89 speed, 94 excel, 88 strength, 95 tackling, 95 play rec. Block shed's a little low, but 92 power move, 95 finesse move. He's got 90 hit power. Doomerville plays really, really, really well. He has a ton of stuff. We'll go over these players' stats as well after this. We have Ray Lewis and Mosley, linebackers. I don't use them. We have Judon over here. Now, I did not pay for his LTD because his LTD is like 1.5 mil. Uh, there's actually a glitch where you can see right here. This is the 93-94 overall power pass. It glitched out for Judon where you can use it on him even though he's a 95 overall, which thank God because I would not have this up, full, fully upgraded Judon if... If, if it wasn't for that because he is so expensive but he's got 90 speed 94 excel 94 strength 96 tackling 94 play rack, 92 block shed 96 power move and 86 finesse move judon is really good 94 hit power he should he actually should have pretty decent zone i mean he's at 72 zone i feel like that should be a little higher he plays coverage uh quite a bit but in, in real life but judon is really 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 good we have ed reed safety who is really small you definitely notice it but I gotta play him back there. He's five foot eleven. He's got ninety seven speed, ninety six excel, ninety five zone, eighty seven man, ninety one hit power. He's got eighty four block shedding, seventy six tackling. So he's pretty good. I'm back there at strong safety playing back. We have Calvin Johnson over here. Now the Ravens will have a free safety, so I just picked up the best one in my opinion. Six five, great catching. I feel like he catches the, a, a ton of picks. He's got ninety seven speed, ninety nine play rec. He's got 98 zone, 89 hit power. He's really, really, really good. Now, he's not too physical, but he does have really good tackling. And then his catching is really good. 94 spec catch, 94 catch in traffic. Uh, I don't know where his actual like catching stat is. I think it's up here. 97 catching right there. So Calvin Johnson is really, really, really good. Now we get to the D-line. I don't really, I don't use any of these. Actually, I, I, I use one of these guys. I don't use Campbell anymore, but Campbell is here. 78 speed, 91 power move, 92 block shed. He's obviously an outdated card. Uh, when Calais gets his big card, he'll probably be on the team because I, I feel like the big, the big defensive ends like Chris Jones, I've heard plays really well. Guys like that. We have Brandon Williams here at DT. He's obviously boosted to a 97 because of the the uh, strategy item that's going away tomorrow, I believe. He's got 71 speed. He's got 90 power move. He's a absolutely god in in the run game. 97 strength, 97 block shit. Love to see that. He's got 93 hit power as well. Brandon Williams is really, really good if, if you know you need to stop the run. Jack Youngblood is the guy I use as my defensive tackle. 89 speed, 93 excel, 91 strength, 90 tackling, 93 play rack, 91 block shed, 91 power move, and 93 finesse move. I feel like he's a little, a little small. He's only 245 to play DT. I might need to move him, uh, but he's got 94 hit power as well. Youngblood is, he's played well, but I feel like a a bigger guy there would be way better. Special teams, I did pick up the Bobby Wagner because I just I, I'm not using these slots on anything. 
I didn't even know we can get upgraded. I guess I gotta do that. But he's got 92 speed. He's got 92 kick power, which is more than Sam Cook, and 85 kick accuracy, which might be more than Sam Cook. I don't know. But he comes with Enforcer for zero AP, so I might as well pick him up. I do actually have to power him up all the way. And then obviously we have Justin Tucker with Focus Kicker. This card was like 300k, ton of ton of points. 70 speed, 78 excel, 93 kick power, and 88 kick accuracy is obviously what you're looking at. Tucker, maybe he'll get the team of the year kicker. Probably not. It might be uh, could be Matt Gay, somebody like that. He's having a really good year. Over here at Summer Linebacker, we have Isaiah Simmons. Again, picked him up. He was rental value. Picked him up for like 280. I actually, I actually pulled like 10 limiteds over this course of that. I wish I could show you guys. I just wasn't feeling up to it to record a video. Just having a lot of trouble, uh, you know, not coughing or you know, with just it was bad but we did pull 10 limiteds i think i pulled like four ricky williams two marlon humphreys and then i pulled two isaiah simmons two derrick henners i think that's what that was so we pulled a ton of limiteds um and isaiah simmons right here is so good 99 speed 97 excel 90 tackling 94 player 99 pursuit 99 man 99 zone 99 hit power six foot four he's got 82 block shed he's got 70 finesse move 77 power move he's got 90 tackling this card is really, really, really good. I really enjoy the Isaiah Simmons card. I, I I use her in personally. And then this card is really interesting. Haloti Nada, strong safety. Obviously gets Ravens game. 95 speed, 92 excel, 96 tackling, 96 play rec, 85 pursuit, 91 man, 95 zone, 95 hit power. And he can rush the passer. He's got 91 power move, 97 block shed. Haloti Nada is really good. Like, like with the Ted Hendricks card, they didn't give him any pass rushing stats. He has like 80 something uh, power move and 70 something finesse move with low block shed. Haloti now has 97 block shed and 91 power move. So he still has his DT stats basically at strong safety. So I, I have him coming in off the edge um, for me, or he can go into flat play coverage. That's really where I have those guys. I have Judon at uh, left end basically, Dumerville at right end, and Youngblood at DT. We have Ricky Williams at here at our uh, backs. We have Devin Hester at slot receiver, and we have Marcus Peters as our slot corner. Strategy, we're using the Raiders offense and the multiple defense. Uh, in my opinion, the best offensive scheme in the game. And then our strategy items. So I today, I actually, I, I had like one, 1 million coins. I spent like 100K, and I got the last strategy item I needed. I needed one of the, uh, the uh, defensive back ones to give him the speed. We got this one today. So we have... Plus two speed to our receivers, plus two speed to our defensive backs. We also have the deep freeze uh, strategy item. You can also replace it with the with the ghost one or stocking stuff for one. But personally, I have the the four LTDs, and uh, I have Lane Johnson. I have Brandon Williams. I have Calvin Johnson. So it's really it really helps out those guys. And then obviously our visuals are Ravens. We also have John Madden and RIP to John Madden. I tweeted that out. I try to keep you guys updated on Twitter as much as I could, but I tweeted him out. RIP to John Madden. It's really sad, especially right after the documentary came out. They better put John Madden on the cover of Madden 23. That's all I'm going to say. Really hope that happens. But yeah, that's the team. We haven't played Weekend League in the past couple weeks. We're going to get back to that. We're going to play Weekend League this week. We'll have the um, the rewards on Tuesday, and then we will also have the, our lineup update. We'll start doing that again, You know, getting back into it. But we do... We do the, the Ravens definitely could get some upgrades or just new players added in the game we can get like maybe like a Derek Mason or an Anquan Bolden I would love to see Bolden we haven't seen him since Madden 20 uh we can get a quarterback with with Hiram Master and Glenslinger which I might switch off of Henry for we can get we can get a Zeitler upgrade we can get a Jonathan Ogden who's not in the game yet we can get a Todd Heap maybe or Ben Coates somebody like that for the Ravens uh tight ends or Mark Andrews upgrade I'll be totally fine with that free safety we can there's only two options really for the Ravens we can get Eric Weddle or we can get a Deshaun Elliott if they decide to do that. Uh, D-line. We can get a Terrell Suggs, but he would be an outside linebacker. Um, we, can, we can get a Haloti Nada, a better Haloti Nada at, at DT. Uh, corner. For the Ravens, Rod Woodson, obviously, is a guy that's not in the game for a bunch of theme teams who could really use him. Like the 49ers, the Steelers, the Ravens. Uh, the Raiders don't really need him, but he would be on the Raiders. That's really it. I mean, the outside linebackers are perfect. I love them. Ed Reed is the only safety I'm going to use for the Ravens. 
until he gets his probably his UL upgrade. Corners are really good, all pretty fast, except for Peters, but Peters doesn't really play uh, DB, usually plays in a flat or he blitzes. So, all these guys. Oh, and we picked up Sean Taylor. I totally forgot to mention Sean Taylor. I use her him as well. 97 speed, 94 excel, 90 tackling, 94 play rec, 91 pursuit, 83 man, 95 zone, 95 hit power. This guy is really good. Sean Taylor is incredible. 90 block shot, 81 finesse move. I paid like 400k for him, and now he's down to like 330, so that kind of stinks, but I should have probably waited until that bundle came out. We can look at some of these guys' stats, like Henry's. Again, Henry's been decent. I'm not going to call him insane, but he has definitely been decent. He does fumble still. I, he, has, he hasn't fumbled for me yet, but I definitely have seen him fumble for other people. And his stats and head to head, he's played. So I, I put 11 games with him, and he has 1,800 passing yards, 74 completions on 111 pass attempts, 18 touchdowns, and 12 picks. So I feel like I press a lot with him, trying to make those dumb throws, but which I probably shouldn't be making. Uh, he His longest passing yards touchdown is 78. Um, he's played really well. It's just. The picks, the touchdowns isn't really too good. I feel like I probably need to stop throwing so many picks. But rushing attempts, 13. He's 174 rushing yards on 13 attempts. Uh, he's one broken tackle. Uh, his longest rush, 33 uh, yards. He hasn't fumbled yet. So that's really good. And then obviously he doesn't kick return or anything. But Henry's been decent. He's been pretty good. Isaiah Simmons here. I, I use him, so these could be swayed. It depends on really how good of a user you are. When you use him, again, 11 games played. He's got five tackles. He's got one pick. Um, he's got one pick six, I guess. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I remember that. I, I picked it off in the flats, returned it. He's got a sack. So, he's done pretty well in 11 games. I usually keep him out of coverage, though. He's not really involved in the run game or anything. Uh, Humphrey's been actually really good as well. And a, a lot of these stats are based off how, you know, you, the, you, you play them. 11 games again with Humphrey. He's got two tackles. He's got one interception. And that's really it. I mean, again, it's 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 11 games. It's not, you know, like 100 games, something like that. I haven't played too much. Ricky Williams, I don't really run the ball, but he could have, he, he should have a decent uh, receiving stats. I had a pretty big game with him earlier today. Uh, he has 11 games played again. He has 36 rushing attempts for 168 uh, yards, five touchdowns. He's, he has fumbled once. I tried to uh, jurtle in the end zone and he fumbled. He has three broken tackles, 35 yards after first hit. He's got one 20-yard run. He has a 54-yard rush. Receiving, he's got 12 catches for 240 yards. So, he's been pretty good. Ricky Williams, definitely good. I, again, I, I wish he broke a little more tackles. Um, that's all right. Dion is not going to have pretty too good stats. I don't really pass to him too much. He has 37 online games played. I think that number's wrong, but again, yeah. Oh, no, that's rushing. Receiving. He's got 26 catches for 600 yards. No touchdowns. Um, is what it is. He has a really good spin move, though. So when you get him out in the open field, it's pretty hard to tackle him. Hester and Judy are the ones that are going to have actually the better stats here. As let's me go to head to head. There we go. 35 games played. I, again, I think that's wrong, but Hester has 15 catches for 783 yards. And again, it doesn't show the touchdowns. Hester definitely has receiving touchdowns for me, so that number's wrong. So I, I don't I don't know if the receiver numbers are right or if that they're not totally updated. I don't really know. But that's really it. I mean, there's no one really else to stand out. I do have this Ndamukong Sue. Uh, who I don't know why you can't quick sell those cards. Obviously, Cam Chancellor's not okay. So this is a different account. I feel like I needed a fresh start. So Cam Chancellor's not fully upgraded, but we are working on him. We're getting them there. He's at 85 overall right now. Not going to use him until probably he gets his upgrade. I probably won't use him until he gets his upgrade since he still isn't upgraded. Like, he, he, even if I was on my other account, I don't know if I would use him. I mean, he's just not upgraded. And he's getting really slow. He's like 94 speed powered up all the way. And you got Sean Taylor with 97 speed. You got you got, uh, got Haloti Nada with 95 speed. And Isaiah Simmons with 99 speed. So, it's a little interesting. Once Cam gets his upgrade, we'll definitely pick him up. I'm still working on getting him upgraded right now, but is what it is. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Turn that bell on so you get notified whenever I upload a video. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. It's top link in the description. I'm back. We'll be up uploading every single day going forward, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.